Welcome to Instant Insights. I'm one of the violin faculty at the Swanee Summer Music Festival and happy to share an insight with you. Being able to use the full bow without any difficulty should be second nature. For some beginners, going to the frog is more challenging and also mostly for violinists and violists rather than for cellists. When we first start learning the violin, we notice this fairly quickly and it's easy to make a scratchy press sound at the frog. So sometimes we avoid it by simply not playing in the lower half or lifting our shoulder or elbow too much in an effort to lighten. Playing close to the bridge is one way to relieve the press sound, but having a flexible bow hold is also important. Let's assume you're playing a slow, even hold bow. The right hand has to make adjustments depending on which part of the bow you're in. At the tip and upper half of the bow, I'm putting weight into the string, primarily with my first finger, and in doing so, my hand leans into the first finger. I try not to let the finger slip past the second joint. The first finger should contact the bow just before the second joint, and the fingertip should be free and not pressing against the stick. The angle of the fingers to the bow will be a bit slanted and the wrist is rotated slightly inwards. As you can see, the third and fourth fingers are straighter, straighter and my wrist is turned inwards. This is called pronation and helps me play into the string in this upper half. If we're playing an up bow and going to the lower half, this pronation will be evolving into supination. Once I get to the balance point, I feel the pressure from my right arm no longer going through the first finger. The natural weight of the arm now goes through the middle two fingers and these two middle fingers are right above the fulcrum, the thumb. So I no longer need to angle my fingers uh, or lean into the first finger. Now my fingers are more 90 degrees to the stick. My third and fourth fingers are rounder and my wrist has turned upwards a little, outwards a little. I try not to raise my knuckles, my wrists, my shoulders uh, while I'm perched to the frog. While Keeping the thumb bent will also help keep the fingers curved. An exercise you can do is to lift the fingers that aren't being used. At the frog, your, finger on, your first finger only gently guides the bow but doesn't press, so you can lift it. When you get to the balance point, you can lift the, pink, you can lift the pinky. You no longer need the pinky in the upper half. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.